Carol, today the state comptroller said she will stop helping 60 suburbs collect money on red light camera tickets. This major announcement was partially a result of our I-Team ongoing investigations into red light camera traps. As of February 6th, the controller's office will no longer help Illinois municipalities collect these fines. State Comptroller Susanna Mendoza saying her office will stop assisting dozens of suburbs that rely on her to collect red light camera fines if offenders don't pay. Mendoza had already stopped helping the city of Chicago collect when she was sworn into office in 2016. About 60 municipalities are taking part in this right now. Last year alone, Mendoza's office collected a total of 11 million in revenue for them, using her office's power to garnish tax returns for unpaid fines. The announcement comes after several I-Team investigations into alleged red light camera traps. In a joint investigation with the Sun-Times, we reported that experts said a majority of the red light camera tickets were issued to people making right-hand turns on red lights. Has that been any part of your decision? It is. I think that your investigations, frankly, have been very helpful. And we, this is an issue that we have not taken lightly. It's not a decision that we just came up with yesterday. We've been investigating this for months. The I-Team has also found many suburban red light cameras are placed in designated right-hand turn curved lanes. Those curves don't have a traffic light on the right-hand side and in what experts call the driver's cone of vision. Proponents say drivers should always come to a complete stop and point to studies which say cameras reduce crashes. Mendoza says her office's decision is also based on reports of a federal investigation into some suburban politicians and alleged connections to the private red light camera company SafeSpeed. Because some people are making a cut off of every light that goes up and every ticket that gets issued, that is wrong. The I-Team reached out to SafeSpeed for comment and it declined. SafeSpeed has denied allegations of wrongdoing and officials have never made any accusations against the company. According to our red light camera investigation in 2017, the suburbs brought in $67 million in just one year. Now, Berwyn, which was number one on the list, today we reached out to them about this news. They yeah. say they will continue their red light camera program to reduce collisions. Uh Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.